Thank you, friends, for being here today to the book of Genesis, chapter 23. We will continue. And thank you, and may the word of God uh, enrich us all. May we uh, be better for it. And may uh, this day make us wonder about all that God has done and all that he will do. And may us rejoice in God Almighty and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 23 of Genesis. And Sarah was a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kerjath Erbah, the same as Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron the son of Zohar that he may give me the cave of Machpelah which he hath which is in the end of his field for as much money as it is worth he shall give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you and Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth and Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth even of all that went in at the gate of his city saying nay my lord hear me the field give I thee, and the cave that is therein I give it thee. In the presence of the sons of my people give I it thee. Bury thy dead. And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spake unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me. I will give thee money for the field. Take it of me, and I will bury my dead, my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, my lord hearken unto me the land is worth four hundred shekels of silver what is that betwixt me and thee bury therefore thy dead and abraham hearkened unto ephron and abraham weighed to ephron the silver which he had named in the audience of the sons of heth four hundred shekels of silver current money with the merchant and the field of ephron which was in machpelah which was before mamer the field and the cave which was therein and all the trees that were in the field and that were in all the borders round about were made sure unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Hath before all that went in at the gate of his city. And, Abraham, and after this Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave in the field of Machpelah before Mamre, the same is Hebron in the land of Canaan. And the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Abraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Hath. Thank you, friends, for coming. We'll be back shortly with Genesis chapter 24. And wow, we've learned a lot. And uh, may God bless the reading of his word to you. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You know, we ought not to be just hearers of the word, but also doers. Every one of us, including myself, have to remember that. Have a great day.